Thank you everyone for being here today. It gets cold in Thunder Bay, doesn't it? <laughs> Justin Trudeau thinks that uh, the solution is to tax your home heating bill. You know, after eight years of Trudeau, everything costs more. Work doesn't pay, housing costs have doubled. Crime, chaos, drugs and disorder are now common in our streets. Justin Trudeau is not worth the cost. In fact, food bank use is at a record level. As more and more people struggle with the higher cost of food that results from his carbon tax on the farmers who make the food and the truckers who ship the food. More and more young people can't afford a home. Homeless encampments are present right across the country in places that never had them before, which has led to drugs, just depression, and now they want to bring in medical assistance and dying for people whose only illness is depression. This is life after eight years of Justin Trudeau. And now, he's got a carbon tax on your home heat. Now, because of his Atlantic Canadian MPs rose up in protest, he brought in a pause, but only for some people in some regions where his poll numbers were plummeting and his caucus was revolting. But I believe that every single Canadian family needs to be able to heat their home. And so I launched a campaign to take the tax off and keep the heat on. I put a motion before the House of Commons to say that people in Thunder Bay should have tax-free heat as well. And guess what? Patty Haidu voted against the people of Thunder Bay. Mark, Marcus Pelosi, he voted against the people of Thunder Bay. They voted to increase taxes on home heat for the struggling people and families in this community. And that's why I'm here today to re redouble my campaign to ax the tax. And there you see the sign right over there. That's the choice. That's the choice in the carbon tax election. Either it will be Pierre Polyev and the common sense conservatives who will ax the tax, or Justin Trudeau, Patty Haidu, and Pawlowski who will hike the tax on your heat, your gas, and your groceries. That is the choice in the next election. Either you will have a costly coalition of the Liberals and NDP who tax your food, punish your work, take your money, and try to ban your hunting rifle while unleashing crime and chaos in your community, or a common sense conservative government led by Pierre Polyev that will ax the tax, reward your work, punish criminals while respecting law-abiding hunters and sport shooters. That is the choice. Do you know what choice you're going to make? Yes. We're going to vote for common sense conservatives who will ax the tax and we invite all the people of Northern Ontario, of all the country, to join together in this common sense message. Happy New Year everyone. May 2024 be a year of common sense and low taxes. Thank you.